well, there's a person standing there with a water bottle saying, fuck you, then you got to fight that guy. Don't turn around. Yeah. So he. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. All right, Craig. So we walk on through. I okay, get well, to the, now, do they have you guys mic'd up or are they using boom yeah. mics? Uh, they, they, we were mic'd up. We had great mic'd sound up. guys. Each team, right, had a sound guy. They were, it was. And these people, these bikers, they, they're extras? They're all extras. They're all extras. extras. And someone threw water at you guys. And one of them hit us with a little water, a little dash, a little, little, little sprinkle, right? Just enough <laughs> to let you know, motherfucker, this ain't a cool place. And it was in a machine shop, very dangerous metal and welding and fucking trash you know not a not a working metal shop a jacked up old metal shop with all kinds of daggers and i mean really dangerous shit everywhere it have come to find out you know what i mean at this for an arm wrestling it's not that it looked great right because you had the guy over there welding in the old you know it was awesome looking so and they had already been there that was their host they always were at that machine shop. That's where the fight with Don happened. That's where the fight with Mike Solaris happened, right? And how do they, do you know how they find these places? No, but they send people around scouting and they're looking for the shitty of shitty, right? <laughs> That's the goal. We want a shitty place. <laughs> the shittiest <laughs> of the shit. <laughs> right? Yeah, were, right? Were you guys? Now, now, you... now, when I say shitty, like Grant Bundy's, Grant, Grant Bundy's doc is a fucking gold mine to a guy who has a fishing boat that wants to dock. But the fact is, is they could have went to the fucking, uh, you know, Caesar's palace, but they chose the dock and they did not tell him to clean the dock up, you know, let the marsh be there. You know what I mean? The, the butcher house, the, the abandoned buildings, the machine shop, these were all places that were, they had the walking dead vibe. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. just a little side. So in Kansas City, like, I'm sure Don Fritchie was like, oh, my property is amazing, that big backyard. They were like, no, that's too too nice. 100%. Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> we appreciate you, but we're good. You <laughs> okay. know what I mean? That's what machine the shop. They, were, they were good at that. They were good at that. And so, oh. hold on. When you're coming into this machine shop. Come on, Travis. Seriously, come on. When you're coming to this machine shop, you're still naive, like, nah, it'll be fine. There's ah, yeah, for some reason, I didn't think. Of, plus, I'm a bad motherfucker. Like, I'm so strong at this point. Like, I don't really think that, that anybody could do anything with me anyway. Plus, yeah, no fear at all. Not even thinking about it. Oh, Not even you, thinking about it. You brought up a good point. So during this time, are you training – as serious oh, as man, if you were I'm training for it. Yes. So I am retardedly to... ready to kill this guy. No way that he can beat me. Absolutely. And do, you, no and do you know who you're arm wrestling at this point? Yes, I have known for about three weeks. They wanted me to go with Devin. And I find and I finally said yes a week before once they told me that they would give me the five grand. Okay. All right. Cool. So walk in, get a little douse of water, sets the mood weird. I go through four intense matches, right? They win three to one. They almost were up four to four to zero, two, or four to zero because Craig finally won. Craig made it three wait, to wait, one. Wait. When you say intent, like what was there a particular order, like heavyweights? Yes, yes, and yes. Light? So Olin Lucas was first. Um, he had a match. I can't remember who, but he lost. Um, then uh, Tom Nelson beat Chop. Um, Kenny Hughes uh, beat, um, I don't even know, some other guy on our team. You know, we had, I don't even remember. We, had a, we did not have a good team. Me, Chop, Craig, Olin, and then we had a new guy, and it sucks. I can't remember his name because he's a fucking stud, and I love him. But he lost to Kenny. Um, you know, everybody lost except the last two matches was Craig and Allen. And Craig did win, but Allen was up two to nothing. And that was the strongest Alan Fisher I'd ever seen. In that last match on film, I looked at Craig. I said, my man, you must take your elbow and punch Alan in his chest. That's how far your elbow needs to come off of the front of the pad in order to stop this motherfucker and get him in a hook. 
or he is going to murder you again. He was just killing Craig. He was taking Craig's hand. He was so strong. Alan Fisher hurt himself that day against Craig Tuye at season one filming. Alan Fisher was the strongest guy he had season ever Season two. Season two, the filming of season two, before it shot. The filming of season two, the first week, Alan Fisher was the strongest he ever was, including he had come off of um, two WAL victories where he's just slaughtering the 165 guys, right? I mean, he was a beast. A beast. Like, wow. and, and Craig finally fouled so bad. You know, Craig's 195, right? My man's 160 in a hook. And Craig is the strongest Craig he's ever been. He finally gets fucking Allen in there, and I see Allen tweaks his fucking elbow. Um, and then ended up, Craig ended up winning three to two. So now we've already lost the team competition, and it's me and Devin. So we get up there, and I told you before, the refereeing is horrendously, and you know how Devin is. And I know people think they know how I am, but all I want is to set grip. So don't yeah. tell me that I fought with you for 20 minutes cheating, because that's not me. And I these are uh, these are best of five, kind of like super Best of five, format. best three out of five. Yeah, best three out of five. So we try to get a grip for five, 10 minutes. Finally, Who's the ref? Who's the ref? The ref, I don't know the guy, but he is brand new. This is the first time that he's going to do this what? For, the, for, the, for the game of arms. And I've never seen him arm wrestle or ref in anywhere, right? I know him. I can't remember his name, but I know him, but he's not the ref. But he's the oh ref my God. He's, there's got no, this, he's got there's this new man too, right? There's and, no he's already, and he's already butchered the whole day because the arm wrestlers oh are not God. allowing him to do anything. So five, ten minutes later, he says go in the straps. And I just destroy, I mean, boom! Ah, right, it's clear. Boom! Now my, you know, we've, we're down, right? We're losing the fucking, we're losing. We've already lost. But I just showed everybody I'm the baddest dude on this show. And you just got this guy. You already took Dave Chafee off the show. Now you put this guy up, and he's supposed to be the next guy. It ain't close, right? We separate. Uh, Tom comes over there, like, ah, you know, telling the ref something, telling the ref something. I'm like, man, the fuck over there with your boy. So right away, you know, we draw on a little bit, but not much, right? He knows. Everybody knows. I'm bad as motherfucker in here, right? And my swag is like, ah, after I done did that. We get back up there. We throw another seven, eight minutes. This time, both of us have Tom and – Chop, people are getting involved trying to tell the ref, foul him, foul Devin. Jesus Christ, like he won't stop. He won't stop. Go ahead. And, um, I know people are going to kill me, but I just have one question. Since this didn't air, how is this so popular that everyone knows about it? Did you, were people like um, to tease it, like, how did it get out there that this was such a big thing? Did they just um, talk about it? Devin, they social Devin talked about the fact that because of the ending, they had a slogan because and I, it's, if I tell you now, it's not cool. Okay. Okay. If okay. I, okay. If I continue on. So okay, we get up there another five, seven minutes, a lot of, lot of talk. Now Tom's up here saying I'm cheating. Craig saying, Chopper saying, come on, foul him. You can see it's clear that Devin won't, he won't go, right? He won't go. So finally, fucking guy says, go again. Wait, 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 hold on. Tom Nelson, what was his beef? His beef was that I was cheating. You know what I mean? And, and that's they, why wanted, we could. they wanted you to get a foul. Yeah, maybe me get a foul. Maybe me stop crying about face your foul, Devin. You know, it was turning into some, a lot of talking, right? Okay. You know, because I'm telling the, I'm saying, just start it. Just say go, right? And Devin's like, oh, he's got a square. You know, he's just trying to, you know what he's trying to do. He is trying to suck all the life out of this thing, and he's doing a great job, right? I mean, but I'm so Ooh. much stronger than him that even under these conditions, the guy ends up saying go again. Boom! 
straight down. Now when I come up, ah, right? And I'm like just going crazy or whatever. And at some point, Tom says, oh, do you need to be removed? And I said, who, me? I'm the baddest motherfucker in here. Who the fuck can do anything with me? Right? About that time, they take the strap off of us because we got another 10 or 15, uh, you know, we got five minutes in between matches or whatever. And as soon as they take it off, I spin around. Ah! Right? Do a couple little turns. As I turn back around, he's on my side of the table. And he's like, oh, you could be removed. Right? So he's still What, is, to, what does he mean, removed? In other words, uh, if, if you want to keep thinking you're the baddest dude in here, I'll show you because I've got 60 people here that I could do. Right, you motherfucker? Like, and he's disgusted that I'm putting on a show too, right? I mean, in his, I'm going crazy. In his yeah, team's Whatever territory. the deal is. You know, we still got the problem. We always got a problem. And there's right? no footage of these matches for yes. me to watch? No, Do no. It? But eventually, this whole thing is going to come out. I'm sure, like, somebody's got to find that stuff. I mean, it'd be okay. great. So I spin back around, and there's a little bit of talk, and he, and he puts his finger, and it touches my face as he's like – saying what I, you know, watch yourself or I don't know what the fuck it is. But as soon as it touches my face, I take my hand and just mash his face. Boom. I mean, just instincts right away. I don't even know why I did it. It was probably not smart, right? Looking back, it was not smart, right? But I mashed him. So he goes six oh, feet you, over there. You're saying you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, I should have recognized the other 60 people, including, like, I didn't even know Tom had a brother. I didn't even know Scott was alive. Honestly, I have no idea what the fuck he looks like. I don't know, right? I know Kelly, but I do not know Scott. I know Tom's parents, but not really. And I don't want to talk to Tom's parents. Like, <laughs> you know Tom's what I'm saying? Parents. Like, I know they're there, but I know that they know that I arm wrestled Tom in season one and we were cussing at each other. Like, it's awkward as shit, right? But on the flip side, <laughs> Tom's parents and family are the type of people that you could argue with and fight with and still say hi to, I'm sure. Okay, just, I'm sorry. Uh, you're arm wrestling Devin, and then Tom's, like, jumping in. Is, is, well, he, trying, right. is he trying to, like, get – But is he really upset about what's going on with Devin, or is he trying to just be in the show and I, both, both. have a and moment? a lot of people did that. Tom did that a lot. He was always trying to be a little bully when other people are arm wrestling, too. Right, because that's what he is. Like, he's a fucking retard, right? A complete fucking retard. So he ends up touching me. I mash him, and he fucking flies back. Well, as soon as I did that, everything changed. I mean, <laughs> I look, and this whole cloud of people start throwing water and charging. What? Right? And I take, like, five steps back. And then finally, I see them kind of the ones that are the most aggressive are getting the lead. And Tom comes flying out the, towards me on the left side. His brother, who I didn't know who it was, is coming around this side. And he comes flying, you know, legs in the air, right? And <laughs> as I take a step back. And Tom, and the first person that Tom um, meets is Craig. And I see him and Craig, right? They got their hands up, but I know they love each other. So there's really no reason for them to fight, right? So he kind of gets away from Craig because Craig thought they were coming to him and all of us, right? So yeah. he kind of bypasses and he gets close to me. I throw a punch I, and then he ducks. or You or maybe, throw a punch at Nelson. Yeah, I throw a punch at Tom because he's running, right? And <laughs> as I do that, this other person jumps, and I get – that's Tom's brother, who I don't even know at this point who it is. <laughs> and the whole time, all those bikers, everybody's coming. Right now, they're coming to break it up, but there's eight or ten motherfuckers that ain't trying to break it up. They all got the name Nelson or, <laughs> you know, they've married a Nelson or whatever the deal is, right? <laughs> so, and I'm talking about his mom, his fucking wife, his sister, all of them, right? So – Tom ends up behind me, and that his brother ends up, like, right over top of me. I grab his brother, bring his stomach into my face, 
right? And I feel Tom like on my back, like around, like around me, kinda, right? And and then I, but people are grabbing him too, right? Chop him and Chopper, Chop got him in the headlock, <laughs> try and break it up, you know what I mean? Fucking, but he's, you know, he's squeezing and trying to scratch. <laughs> ratings, whatever, right? ratings, ratings, right? yeah, ratings. Crazy, right? I mean, just fucking nut feel. So I'm kind of moving with Tom's brother, and Tom's brother's like trying to punch me or whatever he's trying to do, but I don't even notice because I'm just trying to stay safe with my face in this fucking guy's stomach, right? <laughs> and, and I feel the crazy part is Tom's sister, Tom's mom, Tom's wife, all these women are in between me and the ground What? Tom's brother. And there was a bunch of chicks there, biker chicks too, right? All these bitches are on the ground, right? Like, I see, just, I see hair and blouses and crazy, what? right? And, you and Tom, you're telling listen, me the, so the ladies brother, were charging yeah, so, you too? Yeah, so Tom's brother, yes, 100%. Tom's brother tries to like put me in a chokehold, like a guillotine, but I've got my hands in between his, you know, he's got his hand in between my hands to my throat. Right. And I've got my hand on his shirt and I, you know, he's working, trying to do something. Tom has now grabbed my nuts. No, no. Yes. he's grabbing your he ball. He my nuts. Right. I have a <laughs> hell of a mark on my nuts. Right. <laughs> no. I swear crazy right but as he's doing that i'm like going i start going crazy i lift my hands up as i lift my hands up your boy's got like a front head like guillotine thing i take my hands up to his face and fucking slam this fucking dude into this truck car thing right and as soon as i do that these two fucking biker guys boom right on top of me right and i'm extras like, out yeah extras well they kind of extras but they're his boys up there because they done been to five of these uh, other things, right uh, uh. now they got but i can't tell if they're breaking it up or what they're doing but tom now has as he's getting pulled away from my dick right <laughs> my pants my pants fall down no yes <laughs> and then all those ladies are on the ground Right? Why are they on the ground? Because there's a fucking wrestling melee of fucking people bodies, right? So Tom's brother comes back. I grab him, right? But my pen. Oh shit! How much time has gone? How are we? Twenty seconds? No. In? Uh, seconds? Yeah, probably. Yes, probably twenty-eight seconds into this fucking thing, and my damn nuts are hanging out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now think about this, how crazy this setting is, right? So, pants down to my damn high thigh, right? No underwear. No right? what? I don't never wear underwear. Ever. Are you, your balls are no in the, underwear. In with the all air. these ladies around you? Dick hanging. I ain't got a big dick, you know, five, six inches soft, right? Gets to six and a three quarters, seven if I'm a think of Viagra, you know? But it's, I'm just right. And this fucking guy's trying to choke me and fucking headlock me and shit. And I'm fucking got him. And Tom's just pulled my pants down. His family, I mean, all oh, his wife, fucking mom, fucking sister, aunts, <laughs> biker chicks, probably They're all biker crazy. Guys, all, all of the them are on the ground rolling around, right? <laughs> my nuts and balls go all over every, right over. It, one of them's neck. I see it. <laughs> it's touching the neck. I'm like, ah! <laughs> they're going to film. This shit is on film. <laughs> no. Finally, I recuperate, get my fucking pants on, right? I mean, these, every chick in there is wiping their face off because they saw my nuts go on somebody's neck. Right? Crazy. Crazy fucking story. I get back up and I realize my fucking hand is fucking not, not the same. Like I, you know, and I grab this stick and I go in the back and they're trying to clear it up. They ended up, Tom tried to like fight a couple of producers or anything. They made him leave. And then about 25 minutes later, 
We're back at the arm wrestling match. I'm up 2 0. Hey, blah, 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 blah. What's Devin Laird doing during the melee? <laughs> Devin Laird took three steps to the left, and you, wouldn't, you couldn't tell if he was watching a ballet or a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I know wholeheartedly that he is way tougher than me because he did not react. He did not care. He thought it was hilarious to see a bunch of people that could not fight, try to fight is what I imagine that he was watching. Like, I mean, Devin probably could have killed everybody in there in like three seconds with this fucking Bruce Lee shit. You know what I mean? So. And are, are the producers after this saying ratings, ratings, are they saying no, you guys are no. criminals? Wait, I think that that's, yeah, I think that canceled the show. In my opinion, that fight took two weeks for them to cut ties with them because that was the second time that the AMC people were there and that they were fighting because they were doing the same thing at the very first episode with Mike Solaris and Tom. So in my opinion, now listen, they won't tell you this. I'm just telling you what my opinion is. My opinion is that fight caused that filming to cease 10 days later. Is this opinion out there or is this new? Oh, I don't know if I've ever told anybody, but I mean, unless somebody asked me. You're saying the AMC, this is too, there, you're telling me it was 10 too minutes much. ago it was too that much. they were looking for when walking dead locations. Over, when my nuts went over that lady's neck, <laughs> like, no. you got to cut the show, man. You got to <laughs> cut the show. <laughs> the, it was too much for AMC. I remember the lady had a tattoo. And the tattoo said, I love T. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who T is. But if you have a tattoo on your neck, it says, I heart T. That you the one. So look around there. Any of them chicks in your family or any of them chicks that was uh, with that biker gang. So you're saying when you pushed – Tom Nelson, then everything changed. You mean like everything no, changed? No, when he touched me, when he touched, when his finger, when he came on my side of the table after we had already had an exchange and I turned and his hand touched my face, arm wrestling changed. Arm wrestling changed. So you're I, saying... In my opinion, just my opinion. So you're saying when that fight was over, the producers were acting different and it, it, there was a different feeling in the air like, oh, you guys fucked up. It was, it was not cool. Oh. Not cool. Luke Kent was there. You could have Luke Kent on the – Luke Kent was there. And he was uh, – you know, Luke Kent was a cast member that had been excused. And he was there because he was on the team. So he was there. You know, not in a happy capacity, but you know, there in the back. I remember kind of Luke watching. like Mr. Luke had some drama. Luke, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, he missed a couple planes. He had a little anxiety getting on them damn planes and oh, he ended up getting dude. It. That's a shame too, because he got on the last one and he won. <laughs> Fucking stud. He beat Cobra and everybody. So you guys go back to the arm wrestling match. Go back but, to the arm wrestling match. I end up losing three to two. Right? And then uh Devin says, Yo, buddy. Uh, you wasn't the same. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you, uh, can't beat him, choke him. So what that can't beat him, choke him thing that Tom Nelson says all the time is what they said that they did to me. If you, you can't, can't beat, beat him, you can't beat him. He's up 2-0. Choke him, which is the fight oh. with his brother. And, you know, my nuts going all over everybody's fucking face. That is the choke him story. So now whenever you ask anybody a question, don't. Can't beat him, choke him. That's the, that's the slogan. And you're saying this was canceled two weeks later? Ten days later. Right in the middle of the – we did another week, and then in the oh. middle of the next week on a Wednesday, right in the middle of filming, we got the phone call that this is it. Uh, and was, was uh, Game of Arms season one was in the middle of airing? It had already aired. It had already aired and probably had and, aired for a few months. And Wall, Wall had launched and was doing this thing? Wall had launched, remember, because we were going to let people audition for the season two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It was a beautiful. Now, oh, once they canceled the game of arms, the Wall went further, quicker. 
right? They were going to slow themselves into it and just ease into it one tournament a year, two tournaments a year, you know, but now they turned up the heat. After. So that fight you never filmed again? I filmed two weeks later in the middle of filming. They cut it off. Um, Don, Don Underwood and that Kansas City team pulled Devin and the NorCal guys the week later. They actually filmed that. And then in the middle of the next week, which is 10 days after the fight, that's when they called halt to everything. And how did you find out they canceled? Who called you? What did they say? Phone call, phone call, 8 o'clock in a baseball diamond park. We were shooting. We were pitching on the mound. All five of us were throwing the ball and talking about the upcoming match that we were going to have um, against, I guess it was, I don't even know, somebody. And they, we got the call. And then we ended up actually got the call on Wednesday that we probably are in trouble, but we still went and filmed that Saturday. And then they told us that during the day that that was it. And then we had a party that night, like a, a fucking. Now, they also, at the party, acted like they might start filming back up in a couple of weeks. But the fact is, they had that party because they knew it was over. So how is this story so famous? How does everyone on the comments know to get Travis um, Well, it's this? just, uh, I don't know who told the stories. Can't beat them, choke them, can't beat them, choke them. That was, became Tom's little so thing. Instead of saying so, he just said it, and then it picked up on it. People asked questions. There was like Cobra called me and said um, that the story was that I had, was choked and was unconscious. And then I had to have the, the paddles. He said, Cobra said, yeah, no. had the paddle. Yeah, <laughs> no. the, you know what I mean? Like, that's the, some of the stories that I, I mean, so it's crazy. Did, did the Nelsons get on Facebook and say, we just beat uh, Travis Bajan up? I think so, a couple times in their own <laughs> way. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. The fact is, is nobody got beat up. And I told people this all the time. If me and my brother jumped Tom, it's over. I'm just telling you right now that he is dead. So <laughs> if his whole family tried, and the only thing they did is I messed my hand up a little bit, and I had to get a fucking x-ray, and I had to set out for about six weeks. Which, and was it, did you just sprain it? Um, yeah, I can't remember something, yeah. some whatever. Dude. And Terrible. so there's, there's some snippets of like, is that a different fight or is that this one that's online? Like there was, like, you would, there was a game of arms season two trailer that showed a tiny bit of the skirmish, but you couldn't see much. I mean, just the uh, fact that something might've happened. That's, I think maybe opened it up for the story or whatever. So these guys have this footage. Somebody Somewhere. does. I don't know who owns it, whether it's uh the producer, directors, or AMC. You know, I imagine AMC owns the footage, and it's somewhere. But, um, you know. I imagine if the sport of arm wrestling continues to blow up and yada, yada, everyone's dreams come true, that somebody would recognize the value in that footage and would find a way to get it out. Like, Yeah, just, I'm sure that a lot of people have asked. Holy buckets, bro. Great story, huh? Hey, man. Uh, Great story. <laughs> thank you for taking the time to tell us. Hey, I have a question. Do you know anything about Herman Stevens? I mean, I know him, but is there a problem? Is he cool? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, he can be he, a douchebag. I, I think yeah. he banned me from the arm wrestling discussion forum. I think I've, <laughs> I've ruffled some feathers. I wonder why, because he doesn't um, – I don't know. I would – Imagine that he would like you, but who knows? I don't really yeah, – he don't like me, but I, I like him a little. I guess I do. I don't know. But he's a little bit of a, you know, um, I don't know. He, he got some strange views on contracts and his freedom, um, you know. But overall, he's a pretty good dude, I believe. Um, so I'm amazed. Like, what did you do? You, but, you know, dude, you're nuts. Like, so what the fuck did you do? I, I – <laughs> here's the thing oh, uh, and may, well I don't know he doesn't love Bill Collins I don't think that much arm wrestling he, noobs they put on there that like YouTube allows you to have whatever name you want so he's like well then it's okay and uh, 
I mean, it's like, well, just because you're allowed to do it doesn't mean that it's okay. So, like, I could change my channel right now to Arm Wrestling TV, and I guess I could start branding Arm Wrestling TV, and no one, and they're saying YouTube would be perfectly fine. And I just don't get this world where that should be okay. Um, so I and, and also then, too, I'll tell you, man, Alex is a great person, dude. Like, schoolboy's older brother, like. You're not going to find anybody that says anything bad about him because yeah. he's a good fucking dude. I mean, you made a good argument. If I wasn't me and I listened to you at the beginning of the thing, you made a decent argument, but it still doesn't change the fact that I felt violated. Yeah, listen, man, if, you're, if your uh, son is smoking weed every day for fucking five years, don't come to me at the six year and say, dude. Why did you tell me my son was smoking weed? Motherfucker, that's your son. He lives in your house. Do you talk to your son? So if you wanted to protect Arm TV the way that you would now, then it wouldn't have happened. So I'm not telling you that it's right that it happened, but I do know why it happened. Yeah. I have one more thing before we go. Uh, Devin Larratt put out a video of the story behind winning the, the motorcycle. Did you watch it? I didn't. Was he good or no? You didn't watch it? No. Did he? Let me, uh, did let, he, let, let, me let me. Did let he me agree summarize. or disagree? Did he he agree says. Or? Well, he just gave additional info. Okay. okay. That I don't know if you're going to like. Why? He said, he said, you announced the lady's going to come around with a bucket. Don't look in the bucket. And he said, the minute you said, don't look in the bucket, he glanced into the bucket and he saw that there was only one key with teeth. No. And he says that when he reached in, that he felt for the key with teeth. So you said it was luck. He says, mm, if you can't make, wow. if you don't have luck, make your own or something. Wow. What? You, you when know that, that? And that's your leader. He did tell me that he knew he had the key, but I thought that he just looked at it and looked at the key. I didn't realize that he could somehow touch. I just figured he pulled, because, you know, Devin Bear knew that he won the four-wheeler too because he just compared his key to the two guys next to him, and his key had a little bit of different teeth mark than because it's got to be adjusted, and the other yeah. ones are just house keys. So – yeah, but you know, and, and um, the Harley guy, they did a better job. The Harley dudes did a better job than we did. But so Devin did tell me that he knew he had the key, but I didn't realize that he cheated to get the key. God, uh, that's, damn. that's what he says. That's what he says. God, that's y'all's people. That, that's your guy right there. That, that, that's, that's Mr. Integrity right there. I mean, Word to the why you can't put blank keys that haven't been my, cut. My oh, man, man, my man, my man. I I understand. Just trust me, okay? It was a long day. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying day. for future that yeah. that should have been on somebody else. I you told him, yeah, I told him to wrap the things up in a thing and just give them a number so that they didn't even have the key. But of course, you know, Ben yeah. Murray, Steve Kaplan, they were ultimately in charge, so. You know, they tell you what to do, you do it. And what about everything else? Did he say anything else about the bike? Like, was the he story said it was good? awesome? Yeah, he said it was awesome. He just, right. uh, he just, he he went through the. It was only a five minute video talking about. Uh, he plugged us. He said he was listening to Travis telling the stories. It was great, but he's like, I got some additional little, you know, this, oh, here's the moment. A, what a sleaze bucket. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. We hope you like the content. Thanks for stopping by. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Now click that little bell icon so you get notified. This was Gary Roberts and Travis Bajan live. Damn it! Do something up. Don't ever say them two names to me.